So you finally made it and it's embarkation day for your cruise. Number one tip is to arrive a day early before you embark on your ship. Um, I'm right now in our hotel room in San Juan because we did that, we arrived a day early, um, but today's the day. So you are here for me to tell you about what you wanna bring in your carry-on for embarkation day. Um, I always wear my swimsuit underneath my clothes, pro tip. A lot of people pack their swimsuit in their checked bag and so they don't have it when, right away when they get on board. And so not very many people will be at the pool. So wear your swimsuit on embarkation day. Tip number two is to bring a backpack so that you don't have to deal with a carry-on rolly wheel bag. And inside, I'm gonna put my hat, my sunglasses, my medications that I might need. I'm gonna bring a water bottle. I'm gonna bring a rash guard for when I hang out on the pool deck waiting for my room to be ready. Don't wanna get sunburnt. I'm also gonna bring the sunscreen though, just to be safe. I'm gonna bring my headphones, but probably won't need them, but just in case. I'm gonna bring some hand sanitizer because, you know, germs, you don't want to get sick on vacation. Definitely don't forget your passports. You're going to need these to check into your cruise. Make sure they're nice and handy. I'm going to bring my little portable phone charger because most cruise lines these days use apps for the check-in process and for booking things. And when you get on board, you're going to want to book all the things, but more on that coming up. So make sure you have a phone charger all charged up and ready to go. I'm gonna bring some cash to tip the porters who take my big checked bag. And I'm going to take a bonine so that I am motion sick, seasickness ready. All right, when you arrive at the terminal, there's the ship. Step one, you wanna check your bags in with the porters and don't forget to tip them. Virgin Voyages especially is that they embark late. So that means you can disembark late. You don't have to get up as early to get off the ship, but when you're boarding the ship, it's gonna be afternoon. So make sure to pack your patient pants. You want to get this definitely because Otherwise, you might be waiting a long time to get on board. So I do think this is a, a worth it purchase because we are getting on the ship before a lot of people. waiting in various lines, but it's because this is a new itinerary for Virgin, so just remember those patient pants. I don't have those. Once on board, I immediately connected to the Virgin Voyages free Wi-Fi and opened the Virgin Voyages app to try booking the onboard shows and activities. I had already pre-booked my dining from the app as soon as I could from home, 45 days prior to departure. As I was attempting this, we walked over to the Redemption Spa to book our three-hour time slot for the thermal spa pass that comes with the Splash of Romance package. This I was able to do fairly quickly and get the time slot that I wanted booked, but to my disappointment, it was up to me to remember the day and time I booked them, as I was informed by the crew member that this booking would not be reflected in the app. 
as I kept attempting to book shows, everyone else was doing the same thing and the app wouldn't load or it just kept crashing. So I asked several crew members where to find the in-person show bookings. And when I got there, a small line had already formed. I stood in the line waiting and kept retrying the app over and over. After about 20 minutes, I was two people away from it being my turn and the app suddenly worked. And at that moment, I was able to book all the shows I cared about most. After that, I was done feeling pretty stressed out and I just wanted to eat. So we went up to noodle around to get some ramen since embarkation day and sea days are really the only days you can eat here easily as most days it closes by 3 p.m. Once we finished eating our lunch, we decided to check to see if our room was ready. And it was! On our previous uh, cruises which with Royal Caribbean, our rooms were never ready this quickly. Our luggage was already there too. We were happy to relax on our sea terrace and unpack a little bit. Then we set off to explore the ship. Here's where service animals can use the restroom. They provide poop bags and everything. Royal Caribbean. San Juan. We're on the Valiant Lady. Evacuation shoot. Jump down. That's awesome. <laughs> Winner! <laughs> oh, it's freakier than you think with flip flops on. sure to subscribe to this channel, AGP Travel Planning, so you don't miss the next video reviewing the Splash of Romance package as a whole, so you can decide if it's worth the $200 to pre-purchase for you. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like by clicking the thumbs up button and share it with anyone else who might be interested in how to prepare for Embarkation Day on Virgin Voyages Adults Only Cruise Thanks for watching! See you next time.